see the final, Iowa 102 to 98. Scott Atwell is standing by live in Los Angeles. He will join us in just a couple of moments. There you are, Scott. How you doing, my friend? Well, Bob, it's out here in La La Land, and it's a pretty good time because the Florida State Seminoles, the big story tonight, the fat lady was waiting in the wings and ready to sing, but Florida State came back and made a game of it. I'm joined now by Florida State assistant coach Rich Petricioni. And, Pat, really, down by 16 points, you had to be pleased by the way your kids came back. Well, Scotty, it was unbelievable. Uh, you know, Tom Davis lives and dies with the 3-2 zone. They gave us shots. Brad Johnson made two big shots. Mays, McLeod, Aubrey Boyd, three-point shots, and we were right back in the game. The kids showed a lot of hearts, a lot of guts. Every time we went to Dawson, he answered. But, uh, you know, because of the way they press and, and they pressure the ball, they had, you know, 29 fouls on Florida State compared to 14 on Iowa. That's the way they play, and they, it seemed to make uh, every one of their foul shots. It was, you know, it was an unbelievable effort by our kids. Uh, Coach Kennedy couldn't be interviewed right now because of the NCAA rules that he has to go right to the press room. Uh, but, you know, what can you say? You're, you're down 16 points in the second half to University of Iowa on a neutral site, and all of a sudden you take the lead, 93 to 92. You know, it was unbelievable. Florida State was down by one with about two minutes to go, and that's when George McLeod fouled out. Tony Dawson fouled out. Mays not far behind that. Fouls really got Florida State in trouble. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the, just the, the way they play, they, they, they post the ball down low or else they penetrate. They post or they penetrate, and eventually they get you to a point where you either have to stop them or foul them. We stopped them quite a few times, but obviously not enough. There were a lot of whistles called by uh, a pretty good officiating crew, you know, but, uh, just eager to call fouls in an NCAA game that they don't know both teams. Okay, Pat, thanks for joining us. We're joined now by Theron Mays. Theron, I think you had about uh, 17 points in this game. Was there any point deep down in your heart when you thought this thing was over? No, it never was. Uh, we was getting the open shots. It was a matter of them starting to fall. We uh, went on a little slid for two minutes in which we didn't score any, any baskets, but uh, towards the end, we got it back. What was the mood in the locker room? Florida State wasn't given a chance to be this far, but here you were. You played with Iowa, and it, it couldn't have been a down feeling in there. Well, I, I told you before that um, we were real confident coming into this game. You know, We felt that we played pretty tough against Oklahoma and I, I mean, in Pittsburgh, and we just thought going into this game that we can beat Iowa. Okay, Theron, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on a great season. Bob, about the only difference in tonight's ball game was postseason experience. Hawkeyes have been here at nine out of the last ten years. They had four starters and their start, four seniors in their starting lineup. Florida State will lose just one senior off this ball club. You can bet it's a learning experience that will pay off last, next year. Oh, Reporting no doubt about it. Los Scott, Angeles, before you go, Atwell. was the game plan to get out and run and run and run with Iowa, or is that just something that developed? Oh, no, not at all. Florida State wanted to come in, get them in a half-court offense. That's their game plan. It just uh, turned into that kind of a game. And certainly when Florida State got behind, they had to play catch-up and do it the quick way. Well, Scott, listen, congratulations to you and Richard Hill, the crew chief out there. You guys did a terrific job. Florida State had a terrific season. Yeah, it's over, but like you say, they only miss one guy next year, so get ready. NITs, we might be covering this for years to come, my friend. Take care. See you soon. Uh, you're right.